Yeah. What up, guys? We are still doing raw eggs. Great way to get the protein quick. Hey, all that up. It's a gummy bee. So I was just sitting at the coffee shop thinking, what am I going to do for this week's YouTube video? I hadn't, usually by this point I have something filmed already. I was sitting there and I was going through Instagram like I normally do, answering DMs, and I saw that a local gym was having a powerlifting competition, just like an open one, not a like a uh, super strict one, so I'm going to show up to that and I'm going to compete and try to win 150 bucks for best day of the year. And that sounds like a good YouTube video to make. So here we are, guys. I'm going to go in. It's Thursday at a little lap past the afternoon. So I'm going to go in, just hit some uh, squat bench and deadlift. Just really light, just moving into the motions because we've got this competition coming up in like 48 hours. So yeah, not going to do anything heavy. Just going to go through the movements, make sure everything's greased and grooved. We're a little sore because we weren't planning for this, so it's going to be kind of fun just to see what's going to happen. But we're going to show up, do our best, and hopefully walk away with some prize money. Those are my favorite kind of competitions, charity competitions, and uh, pop-up prize money competitions. So, Catch you guys in at the gym. Got my 1UP pre-workout, or 1UP protein shake. We stick to our guns, we love who we love, and we wanna have fun, yeah. We cuss on them Mondays and pray on them Sundays, pass it around, and we dream about Alright, so we're just gonna run through the same man. So we're just gonna run through the squat bench and deadlift today. We're gonna do them all at about 70%, 65 to 70%, for just easy three by three, run through the motions, and then we're out of here. It's gonna be a quick day, we're gonna superset deadlifts and bench, so
wraps up our squat, bench, and deadlift uh, pre-meet warm-ups. So normally we would do this and have three days in between this one, and then we'd have like a day before the meet where we'd come in and just do like really light, only like 135 on the bar for each thing for like just some form reps. Um, but we didn't have time since we just found out about it today. That leaves us less than 48 hours of prep. So um, we're gonna just go with this. Hopefully everything goes good. We hopefully can win with uh, just our openers. But now we're gonna get some Chipotle, do some foam rolling, some band work at home. Uh, get all loosened up and then tomorrow is going to be a foam rolling soft tissue day. Uh, maybe do some back activations and shoulder mobility stuff to just make sure everything's running smooth. So um, we'll catch you at home with the Chipotle and yeah, that was a pretty good workout. Things didn't feel quite up to par, but I mean, for throwing a squat bench and deadlift session in midweek unprepped, uh, can't expect much more. So we just roll with it. Pop, pop. This is the only air conditioning room in the whole gym. Chipotle, get some food, get a little quick workout, pumped, let's get it. We light it up with our hands up, this is how we roll, this is how we ride, we're swinging up the mud, cutting through the countryside, baby. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Some candy. If you don't know, if you have a Walgreens like membership, their candy is pretty cheap. So I got those uh, Nerds Clusters, the big packs. I got two packs for eight bucks, and normally they're like seven bucks a pack. So uh, Walgreens has the candy deal if you guys are candy fiends. Mm, I've been craving chocolate. Mm. The Chipotle. And we got the snacks. We got the snacks. Some chips. Awesome nerds clusters. These are literally the best. The best. Best candy. And then got some different chocolate. I thought I got Snickers. There we are. I haven't had Snickers in a while. So these are going to be good. Alright guys, it is Saturday morning. We are ready. A little sore, a little sore in lower back and stuff, so uh, we're going to see how this goes. We're not going to hopefully have to push it to the full limits here, but we're going to go in and try to win 130 bucks from this competition, 150 So, let's go get it. guys we are ready to go in and uh, see what this competition is about. Let's go get it. The goal today is just to get a 325 bench, 405 squat, just a 500 deadlift, nothing crazy. Taking it easy on the lower back and yeah. We've already had two leg days this week so kind of sore. But we're going to go in here and see what we do. Accelerated Fitness is the gym that's putting this on. I just want to sign up for the competition. Tuck 
technically this isn't the real weighing because I'm holding the tripod and camera, but we were at 160. So now with all the clothes on, we're 164, but it was 160. Guys, I, this is our first one we ever did. It's obviously just for fun, whatever. It's unofficial, not me, whatever. Um, so it's going to go fairly fast. We're going to get we got eight lifters. So um, we'll start with the lightest weight, opening weight, and then we'll just move forward. So probably give you guys time to know about what you guys want. About 20 minutes, maybe after we do the meeting, should that be enough? 15. I mean, where do you guys want? I want to make sure everyone's properly warmed up in their squat. We have a couple racks here. We have that over there. But um, 20 minutes after we're done, does that sound good? Yeah. All right. um, we're basically following as far as for the counting the lift, the USA uh, powerlifting rules. So, as I said, being a mock meet, none official, we're not using calibrated plates, we're just using the metal plates. Um, everyone gets three attempts if they've never competed before. So, you have your opening attempt, and then you get, after you do your opener, if you hit it, you come tell us your next weight you want to do. Obviously, if you don't hit your opener, you guys. Can't go up yet until you hit it, so you'd have to stick with that until you get um, But as soon as you're done with your lift, come over and tell one of us, and we'll write down the next weight that we're going to go up from. We're going to start obviously the lightest and just keep adding weight to it, so like, uh, you know, left boot should go fast, there's eight of us. The order of that is squat, bench, deadlift. Um, on the squat, for you guys that have not done it, we're going to tell you, you're going to get, once you get set right, we'll have a couple spotters. You walk it out. We don't have model. We will say squat. Once you hear the word squat, you can go ahead and write, like go as soon as you're ready. You can't reset after you hear the word squat. I mean, you don't have to go instantly and get a big breath or whatever, but you can squat. When you come up, do not rack it until we say rack. If you're racking before we say rack, it doesn't count. All right? So do not rack it until you're Are you going to get the indication of when you hit that? No. So it's basically, when we say squat, your squat to where you think you hit depth, come up, we'll say rack, and then we will hold up a white flag for a good lift and a red flag for a bad lift. Obviously, you got to get two whites out of the three judges for it to count. All right. On bench press, um, the USA doesn't require your head to be down, so I'm not going to worry if your head's up or down. It does make you do flat feet, but we were talking and discussing among ourselves. If you guys like to talk, as long as your toes are down, we'll count it. So I'm not going to make it be flat footed. Now, your, your feet cannot be the floor. That would be a bad bet. Your butt cannot come off the bench. Your shoulder blades cannot come off the bench. And you can't have like an uneven extension. When we do it, same thing. We're going to say start. You don't want to unwrap it, right? When you come down, you have to pause for a second. You have to wait on the press command. So you come down, pause, I'll say press. I'm not going to make a pause while it's going to be quick. But you have to wait for the press command to press. Obviously, you got to get all the way up. Do not rack it until we say rack. That's a disqualification. On deadlift, um, you will start on your own. You just walk up to the bar, you're ready. You'll stand up with it. You go down once I give you the down command. You have to control it. That's the only thing. Like, you know, it can be faster. You have to control it down. You can't just let it go. Um, that wouldn't count. There's obviously there's no hitching or anything like that coming up. Um, maybe I'm missing. No ramping. No ramping. So not sliding. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to root bend your knees. It's technically a hitch. So if you're coming up, we don't want you to bend. You bend those knees to the forward again. If you re-bend, that's a hitch. Yeah, if the bar goes back down at all on any of the lifts, as it's coming up, then that's no good. So yeah, if your bench is like, you know, I don't see it happening. But if you got here and kind of started and then did again, that, that wouldn't count. You'd be a legend, yes. but it wouldn't count. <laughs> I can't see that really happening, but yes, that doesn't okay. count. With that in mind, is there anyone that wants to change your opening list or you all go with it? Just pay attention to the command. That's the biggest thing. Do not rack. Don't go down until we say down. Don't press on bench until we say press. Uh, other than that, um, you at the time? Oh, uh, the equipment you can use, knee wrap. Oh, yeah, so we're going kind of basically raw. There's no squat suits or uh, no. deadlift suits. You're allowed to wear knee wraps or sleeves. You can have wrist wraps. Um, Ooh, you cannot use wrist straps, obviously, with deadlifting. Not, uh, if we have chalk, 
that means your own chalk, whatever. And you can use a bowel. Elbow sleeves or no? No elbow sleeves, no. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's pretty, like I said, this is for fun. It's a mock meet, but we're trying to keep it fairly official as well. There's no false grips on the back. If this goes well, we're going to hold this annually and we'll start actually advertising it much better. But we'll do it in July when there's uh, more college students home. <laughs> Um, and if it goes really, really well, I'll actually spend the money to buy a monolift and get some calibrated plates. <laughs> we'll make it a little more efficient. But um, yeah, other than that, all right. Somebody give me a time. You guys can tell us like the border. Well, as you were saying, I just put you wherever. So it's going to be Lily up, uh, and then Natalie, and then Audrey, Andrew. Brock, your last.